Because it's just not at all clear like where you need to go or what you need to do with it. And uh, so what this does, gosh, and this is gonna take you guys like way, way, way back. Um, there are certain areas in the game where you can, where you see giants who have turned into trees uh, in the forest of giants. And the Ash and Mist Heart allows you to visit the memories of the giants. And so we go into the memories of the giants to get giant souls. Because King Vendrick, who we saw in the crypt, being our optional boss, sort of, is the, uh, I guess, being the king and the killer of giants he his health is in defense or like 32 times more than normal but for every giant soul in your inventory um up to five i think yeah it's five uh, lowers his health by a certain factor um uh, so you get five giant souls and then you can fight him as if he were a normal boss and so that is the purpose of the ashen mist heart uh, so, if you guys look super close, there's a lock on that, that chest. It's very, you know, just check out this bloodstain deal going on here. Oh, this guy got eaten. Wonder by what, I wonder. And warping around into a wall. So this is a mimic. And it's dead. So this is Petrified Dragon Bone and the Washing Pole. So the Washing Pole is super cool. Cause you're like, Sephiroth! <laughs> Super like ultra Masamune katana. People use it for PvP sometimes. Well, I think they used to, because there's like a running attack that's really good that people use a lot, but not a big PvP or so I never really used it. Though, it's always cool that they just put weapons like, they can just put whatever weapons they want in the game like this. Ow. Ow. Okay, backing up into the tiny uh, area here. I wish I was cool enough to attack with my shield. Ow. Ow. I'm really bad at this. I hate these guys. So yeah, before I start just opening my mouth like a dumb, dumb, dumb idiot. Ow. Hoop, 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 dip, hoop, <laughs> hoop, hoop. <laughs> Holy crap. That was way, way too Oh my god. Not great, that. Least favorite thing ever, the shield guys, in this place. I mean, it's the coolest place, aesthetically, but, oh my god, I can't handle these knives for some reason. Oh, for, god, I forgot. Yes, third dragon ring, awesome. For the second dragon ring nonsense. So this is one of the scheduled invasions, the NPC invasions, which I love that they did, because it's just like the coolest like touch <laughs> to have like fake NPCs invade you. Dragon Fang Willard. Also, one of these cool dragon bros. Oh, yes. Just enough to pull off that triple. So, this right here 
is the petrified egg on this one altar here in the dragon shrine. So let's take a look at that bad boy. If I can find it, I can't even remember where it is. gotta be it's gotta be an item I'm like going right past it every time I bet there you are a large petrified egg surely bears no life eggs are vessels that harbor life itself and symbolize the deep, deepest secrets of existence but what is a petrified egg harbor I think the answer is nothing Which to me seems like the dark, or I don't know, but it's very strongly implied that Aldia somehow brought these drakes back. And uh, through his experiments. And the. Because I think, I think whatever life was used to create the Emerald Herald might have been in that petrified egg. Because she mentions she is born of dragons and of men. I don't know if she's spoke that line of dialogue yet, but I think we're probably about to see it. Oop, I forgot about him. Don't want to fight him. Oh, but I might have to. Well, no, I can just... Ah, I keep going past my feather. So that's it for the dragon area. There's nothing left here, thankfully. So, I can, I can get five giant souls and fight Vendrick, which I would like to do. <clears throat> which I will likely do. Uh, but I want to show you guys the giant's memories. So we're going back to the Forest of Fallen Giants. Um, so this is one that I showed you guys earlier. Which is like the great like soul farming spot. Uh, it's right here. So now, these are the withered. These are the giants who became trees. Uh, and our, this is what our Ash and Mist Heart allows us to do. I'm gonna grab this first. And then go back to my bonfire real fast. So yeah, this is this is like my favorite spot in the Chrome Souls because this boss is like super. Am I wearing the Ring of the King? Oh uh, no, yeah, it's just the door closed. Um, because you can bonfire aesthetic this bonfire right here, and it just resets that Twinkling Titanite and this soul farming area or this uh, this memory. So you can do this over and over and over again to kill the boss. Um, which is pretty easy because he's got a pretty like easy set of attacks But now we're within a memory of the Giants So you get to see some actual Giants in action here And what they look like during combat and how they work So here's the bonfire setting Okay, so yeah, here's the bonfire aesthetic and here's the boss. And if you guys remember back, like way back from the first set of episodes, <laughs> you recognize this guy? The giant lord? He's actually the last giant. Because he is big, and he is used to using his sword, which is why he rips his arm off to fight you. Which also might explain why he's enraged. I mean, it's supposed to be a memory. 
I like to think of it as like mini time travel, but like, I mean, it's not mini time, I mean, it's memory. It's memory of a giant who remembers this moment, I guess, but if you have to remember it, didn't it have to have happened at some point? Do you just stand in and fight the memory itself? I don't know, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Point is, I mean, it really looks like the giants like weren't monsters. But I mean, they have, he's got a crown and like jewelry and stuff. You can see he's got a crown on his weird vagina face. So yeah, the giant lord, if you guys look down here, do my souls real fast. 75,000 souls. 75,000 souls for killing that guy on a regular new game. If you put on like the soul rings and uh, to get more souls from his gold serpent ring, covetous serpent ring, uh, and do this on like New Game Plus or like in when you bonfire the place, it rolls it over to that New Game Plus level. So, uh, the more and more and more, uh, can I exit here? Yeah. The more times you do it, the more souls you get. So if you, by the time you get, do it like a few times, you're up to like, uh, uh, like 300,000 souls every time you kill them, which is enough at like even the high 200s to level you like at least once. It's great. Okay. Um, actually, I'm gonna level up a little bit. <laughs> Speaking of, come on, Emma. Level up. What is that? Just health. Wow, well, I can level up a lot. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that'll be good. Ooh, I burned a lot of souls for that. That's good though. Do I have a shard? Oh, I do. I oh, know, I know. Thought it wouldn't give me the option. I forgot. Uh, okay, let's go check out another giant memory. There's a bunch of these. Um, it's kind of hard to find them. There's. I know there's one giant memory in a place. Or not a memory, but one giant. Um, <clears throat> One giant soul in a place that nobody would ever really think about. God, it's been a long time since I've been here. Um, yeah, I've already been up there. I'm trying to remember where the last Estus Flash are and Sublime Bone Dust are, but I can't remember. I think I forgot where they were and then just got them on like New Game Plus and stuff. Super easy. I was recently going back and uh, <clears throat> playing uh, my dexterity characters and stuff and my spear characters again. So I don't know, I can't remember if I ever showed off this guy at first, but it's another one of those things where it's like, if you explore it around here the first time, which I didn't apparently because I didn't <laughs> check this dude. Uh, all these uh, giants you think are just like part of the scenery and it's very cool like you have to come back here and then do other like in-game stuff with this just like warping into a tree here and the giant's crotch it's always fun a femar yeah, so this one is like back in like the Drang Lake night days where these guys are all actually human. And then you meet this dude. What are you doing here? You are not one of our soldiers. And I don't take you for a mercen. Whoever you are, whether you are guided by bravery or brashness, I am Drummond. And the Lord has placed this fort in my hands. Whoever you are, 
I forgive your trespass. Just mention my name. And even if you don't, by now. Soon, the giants will descend upon this fort. It is revenge for the kingdom's misguided barbarism. The venerable lord built this kingdom to bring prosperity to his subjects. What has transformed him so, I cannot imagine. Long ago, the king crossed the seas, pillaged the land of giants, and brought back a prize. It was then that the golems materialized. The giants are no ordinary barbarians. A singular rage burns within their hearts. My father and his father both fought the giants on this very land. The giants have wills of steel. They cannot find it within themselves to forgive the misdeeds of our lord. This is so nuts. Did you see him? That towering monster among them. That is most certainly their king. He will be a thing to topple. <laughs> Even if I should die trying. My blade may break, my arrows fall wide. But my will shall never be broken. Those who live by the sword will die by it. And I, Drummond, won't go down without drawing mine. Take these. Don't ask me why. Be gone with you. Be gone. Hurrah!